if everything goes right, this is going to be my bucket for my 360 degree mini backhoe excavator. We'll take a closer look at the sizing of it. These bracket straps are five inches total. The holes are five eighths inch. Just kind of rattling off some different sizing here. This is quarter inch thick back plate. The original side plate is 3 16 You have different options you can go to. I double it up by going with another inch and a half, 3 16 on the side. The cutting edge is also a quarter inch thick by two inches. Teeth, you can do whatever you want on them. These are just kind of homemade. We'll take a closer look. Like here's the tooth going in the middle. It's inch and a half wide by half inch thick. I put S on that because it's slightly shorter than the others and it's going in the middle. My bucket, I wanted to go just about as big as I could on it with the propane tank I had. So I was shooting for seven and a quarter, but when I got done, it ended up being just a little over seven inches. So the trench should be good enough where I can put in a four inch drain tile. I was worried about my little welder doing the job. It's a Forney Easy Weld 140 Flux Core I Inverter. This thing only weighs like 15 pounds. And I've welded a bunch of stuff with it. It hasn't bobbled once. I'm using two pound spools on it. That's actually the Forney brand of 30,000 Flux Core wires that they sell. Really liking the welder. That's one pass here. I think and I hope I'm getting enough burn in on it. I'm going to weld what I can on the inside also. This was like a test piece. This is 3 16 wall, an eighth inch thick piece of angle. Just slapped on there. And after I set it up for this, I increased the heat up a little bit. I'm nowhere near as max. But I just feel like I don't want to go any hotter. On welding this piece here, I welded this full 3 inch length. And right at the end, it popped my 20 amp breaker. She popped this one. It takes a lot of care in laying out the brackets. The 5 8 inch holes have to be lined up just about perfect. Might have to fit a little bit too tight. I went with a 5 8 inch drill bit on the holes and this is 5 8 inch hot roll. But I want it as tight as I can get it on the on start because these are going to be non-greasable bushings. So there's going to be some wear in there. When you're laying out your parallel brackets like this, you always want to put your pins in. Get them lined up as close as you can. Even before you do any tack welding. On this one, I just was tack welding one corner at a time. I would do a corner here, and then do a corner over here on the opposite, and then do the same thing over here. Did all the four corners. The whole time I'm maintaining pretty good movement with my pins. Because welding brackets like this, they can get severely distorted. I'm building this bucket according to the plans. I bought the plans from Lonnie for the complete 360 degree backhoe build. And not only do you get the build plans, he gives you supplier listings on all the products and that's pretty cool. So you got a lot there you can research on your own if you want to go one way or the other on a different product. He'll even give you some options on it. And what's pretty cool was the curve of the back hole bucket. You'll see a seam there. Same way in here. That's a propane tank. I really like that wind drill press, 15 inch. What I'm doing on the teeth, trying to keep them flush on top. And then with my overhang on the bottom, it's a quarter inch plate, it's a half inch piece of steel on the tooth. I'm going to take a 3 16 inch thick strap and weld it on the bottom, just like you see here. This is one inch and this is one inch because of the sides I wanted to come out a little bit beyond flush. So if I get him laid out and tacked in place, I'll fill in that overhang. With a piece of plate. Maybe an inch long and then weld it all up. Okay, I just went ahead and welded the center tooth on. So there's what I meant by the plate. The plate's only an inch deep.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section and work safe out there. Have a good one.